Hello, my name is Sean Keenan, and I own MZPStudios.com, and we are a character modeling and rigging service for production. And in this video, I'm going to go ahead and give you a demonstration of the bender rig that we currently um, have just finished, and I did personally. And there, there are a lot of different controls with inside the rig. Um, I'm going to walk you through at least a, a good portion of them, if not all of them here. Um, as you can see, there's no character actually on our screen here at the moment. And this is because we haven't necessarily loaded the character that's actually inside of the rig. Um, the rig itself contains um, a bunch of different characters as well as a bunch of different assets. And so let's go ahead and get started and take a look here. Um, if you go ahead and select the, the global master control, you can see where you have a bunch of different... Um, well, two main characters that are in the rig here. Um, you have your Bender original character, as you can see here. But we also have our, let me go ahead and turn this off. We also have our Bender Ghost rig, um, which is um, an independent rig itself, controlled not only by the Global Master Control, but it's also controlled by the um, CC Master Control of the rig. And you can go ahead and either have this parented to the control, um, or you can also have this to where it's free from the, the master rigging control. You can not only have the, the Bender Ghost in the scene, but you can also have the Bender Original in the scene as well. Um, and this is also going to be a freely um, connected rig from the Global Master Control, as you can see here. Okay. So let's go ahead and just jump back a few steps here. We'll go ahead and turn off our Bender Ghost and take a look at our Bender Original rig here. Okay, so our Bender Original rig comes with global scaling um, and translation as well as the rotation of the character. Now, the rig itself um, on the main control for the rig has an animation level, so you can block out your animation. Also, a rendering level, and you can see where the geometry smooths there. But we also have a um, bite my shiny metal ass mode, which you can see where the um, poly geometry is is fairly high, and this would really be done for you know a close up in terms of rendering. So let's go ahead here and set this back to animation level. We also have a color switch from basic gray um, to the shiny metal gray, all set through keyframe. And then we also have a glorious golden bender as well. And this is applied to not only the bender character, but also the bender flexo beard, as you can see here, which you have the ability to turn on and turn off, as well as smooth itself. Okay, so let's jump back here to um, shiny metal gray here. Okay, and we can go ahead and turn off our Bender Flexo beard. Well, actually, let's go ahead and just leave this on for the moment. Um, the Bender Flexo beard is parented to the rig, but let's say that um, just like the cartoon, you can go ahead and unparent that Bendo f um, Bender Flexo beard so that you can basically pull the beard off. And you can see where the beard will no longer follow the head control, nor will it follow the body control, or the global master control, as you can see here. Okay, so let's go ahead and reconnect this, and we're going to go ahead and turn this off. Okay, and take a look at our legs here. Our leg knee pull vector... Um, is probably the first thing that you're going to notice here where, where it will follow the leg or you can go ahead and turn that off and it's going to be a freely movable um, pull vector constraint as you can see here we also have stretchy limb to give you an automatic stretchy limb control and you can see where um, that works pretty well but it also works with the global scaling of the rig so if you scale your rig, the rig um, and the stretch aren't going to basically work differently. They're all going to work um, together, as you can see here. 
So let's go ahead and just put this back into place here. Okay, we'll turn the stretchy limb off. And the stretchy limb is actually on all the limbs here. And that'll include um, the extra arms and the extra legs and uh, <coughs> that I have actually brought into the rig here. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into our body control here. And we'll walk through the list here. We have a head spin control. We have the ability to go ahead and open our door here. We have the ability to have our inside beers turned on or turned off, but you also have the ability to go ahead and smooth those beers out. Okay, go ahead and turn those off here. You have the ability to turn off your um, geometry as you see fit, so if you don't want to use a left arm, you don't necessarily have to, or if his left arm has been detached, you can go ahead and use uh, another arm that I'm going to show you here in a minute. Um, and that, it does that for all the limbs as well. We also have the ability to go ahead and turn off our original head and bring in an extra head so that we can um, go ahead and animate this as needed and do whatever you want with this extra head. But you also have the ability to go ahead and um, spin that head as well as smooth that head at render time. And that's going to take a little bit um, of time to update because this is going to be a little bit higher in terms of the actual smooth that has been attached to the rig. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this back down to our animation level. We will go ahead here and turn off our, our extra head here. And we'll go ahead and turn back on our original head here. Now our extra head, you can either um, lock that to the rig or you can detach that from the rig. So that extra head is, is basically meant to um, be animated. If you want to go ahead and pull his head off, you can go ahead and do that and then animate that as, as you want. Um, our extra, extra leg geometry here works as well as, say, like our extra arms. So since we have our left arm um, off here, let me go ahead and bring in my extra left arm here. So we can go ahead and show this. And this also has a pull vector constraint as well as stretchy limbs and controls to go ahead and do whatever you want with the fingers. And you can see where his extra arm is going to be detachable here from the rig. Okay, which is parented. Or if you want to go ahead and turn that off, we can go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and pull that off rotate our body and you can see where our arm is no longer attached to the rig okay just jump back a few steps here and I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off our extra arm geometry okay we have the ability to go ahead and do that for all of the uh, the extremities both arms and both uh, legs will do that Let's go ahead here and take a look at some of the extra attributes for the body here. We have the ability to go ahead and bring in um, a bunch of different assets, which include the um, atom that was in the cartoon, as you can see here. And the atom here also has motion path animation to it, so you can animate it as needed through the um, for the molecules of the atom. But you can see here, let me go if I go ahead and turn on my time slider that the timeline does not control the animation of the molecule. You have to do that animation um, separate, which is probably a better solution and gives you just a little bit more control here. Okay, let me go ahead and turn off my time slider here. We'll go ahead and show you that the atom is not only parented to the rig, but it's also detachable. And let me go ahead and just grab this here so we can go ahead and turn this to free. I'll go ahead and move my atom over here and you can see where the atom is detachable from the rig. Okay, And there's also a smooth control on that as well. Let's go ahead and reconnect that. Go ahead and turn that off. You also have the 
gender bender tutu as you can see there go ahead and just close my door and this has a smooth control on it as well um, we have our scarf geometry also connectable and um, detachable we also have our apron for being a chef okay so let's go ahead and turn this off as well and we have a drinkable beer which is inside of the body so you can have your original inside beer as well as a drinkable beer which also has its own smooth control on it as well as you can see here the lid here as well is also detachable from the rig and from the bottle so you can go ahead and do whatever you want there okay so let's just go ahead and hide this hide our original beer here okay go ahead and close our door let's go ahead and take a look at our arms our arms are basically the same as our legs we have do have a stretchy limb control which is automatic and does work with the scaling and um, translate and rotate of the um, main rig we also have controls to go ahead and control our fingers here and all three axes which are the X Y and Z axes okay and a, obviously a pull vector for our elbow here let's go ahead and take a look now at our head where our eyes are also detachable from the rig as you can see here we also not only have our talking teeth as you can see here but we have our beer drinking teeth so we can just simply turn off our talking teeth turn on our beer drinking teeth and these can be animated as well Okay. Like I said, our eyes are detachable, so if you want to go ahead and detach your eye, you can go ahead and do that. And we also have a left eye zoom control, as well as a right eye zoom control. So if he's looking through his eye um, like a binocular, you can go ahead and animate that as well. Oops. There we go. Our eyes also follow the aim constraint here. Okay, we have both lid blinks, um, independent blinks. Okay, just the tops of the eyes, or just the bottoms of the eyes. Or you can do both at the same time. We also have a lid rotation, as you can see here, which cover in all three axes as well. Um, and we also have an eye scroll control which is where um, he was basically jacking on in the cartoon you can scroll through the textures and you'll see this update with a bunch of different shapes or you can scroll through it with the mouse which is probably not going to update here. Yeah, it's it just updates slow if you do it with the mouse. So whenever you actually animate it, um, it it'll work a little bit better rather than um, me actually showing you in the viewport here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Um, obviously, I've shown you the body. Um, other here on the on the head, we also have our chef hat, which is also detachable. We have our Apollo Creed style hat so he can be like Rocky IV <laughs> um, we have our gender bender here so this would work in conjunction with the gender bender tutu okay turn that off and that's also detachable everything that that comes in here is not only um, connectable but it's also detachable so you can animate it whether it be off the rig um, and whatnot we also have our eye connections here so if you know our eye is say pulled off of the model we can go ahead and rotate that model and the eye is still going to move 
Okay. So we'll go ahead and just parent that eye back to to the body here. Oops. Okay, we also have our Bender Cigar, which has a animation control um, for the geometry so that you can smooth it at render time, but it also has an ash glow so you can animate it so that he smokes, so that the cherry on the cigar will actually animate, which is just simply controlled through the texture um, inside of the hyper shade. Go ahead and turn this off here. And that's also detachable. Okay. Um, I think that pretty much covers the the bender here. Um, bender main rig. So we'll go ahead and turn this off here and take a look at our ghost model and rig. Um, same thing as, as the other rig. We have global um, smooth controls so that you can smooth it at render time. We also have our drinkable beer. We also have our smokable cigar. Okay. Um, our tail hair is going to rotate in all three directions, but it also has a wiggle control so that you can um, animate him as a ghost. Uh, same thing here is we also have the door movements, the inside beers, um, our head spin. Uh, you also have not only a head versus um, an original head, but we also have an extra head as well, so that you can animate and do whatever you want with this. Um, same controls as the Bender basic rig or the Bender main character rig. His teeth are not only talkable, but he also has detachable teeth and hidden teeth, so that you can either have talking teeth or beer drinking teeth, as you can see here which is just set through uh, set driven keys okay so we'll just go ahead here and turn off our extra head which is also go ahead and just bring this back on and which is also detachable so you can basically um, animate it as you see fit or do whatever you want with it and that detachable head also has its own head spin control and its own rendering control So we'll go ahead and just turn that off completely here. Go ahead and turn on our original head. Go ahead and close our door here. Um, but we also have the ability here to not only have one character in the scene, so we can go ahead and just move that over, but we also have the ability to go ahead and bring in our second character turn that from connected to free as well so that now we can basically have two independent characters in the scene so let's say that you know something like Bender has died you can actually animate the ghost coming through his body and that's a, a look at our Bender 2.0 rig um, in the future I may be adding um, a little bit more control to this character rig where uh, I may eventually put another character actually inside of the rig. Um, it just uh, depends on you know whether time dictates it or not. Um, other than that, uh, I think that's pretty much it for our Bender 2.0 character rig. I uh, hope you enjoyed taking a look at it with me. And uh, it may be freely available, so uh, keep your eye on the website. Definitely check me out on Facebook, which. Uh, my name is S-H-A-U-N-K-E-E-N-A-N, Sean Keenan. So, yeah, definitely check us out. Hope you enjoyed it.